All right, dudes. What's up, man? Wes here. Hey, so before I start making of any of these videos about, you know, Raspberry Pis and free tax server and all that other craziness, I I think it's I think it's important that I that I talk about why why did I choose a Raspberry Pi rather than I don't know, uh some random Ubuntu machine or a Windows machine, doesn't matter. Uh, well, my idea was uh, to have a, a highly portable um, type of setup that I could power out of, uh, out of anything 5 volts, right? Uh, and the reason for that is, you know, I can grab something like, I can grab something like this, just a nice little battery pack that's 5 volts, and you can essentially come down here. One second. And there we go. So, boom. So now, that's my server. Yeah, it disconnected, sure. But that's it. Like, literally, this is my server. That's my Pi. Yes. That is my Raspberry Pi 4 Bravo. That is an 8 gigabyte RAM model. Uh, so yeah, that was my idea. My idea was to put together a setup that I can essentially hook it up, turn it on, forget about it. That was that was like my main idea for this, right? Uh, because with a device being 5 volts, right? Uh, that means, first off, I can I can really get a lot of good battery life out of that power pack. That power pack is a 20 milliamp uh, kind of power pack, and I can turn this Pi on. I can leave it running uh, until the battery dies, and it'll last. It'll last anywhere between 24 and 30 hours, depending on how hard the uh, CPU is running, right, and how much juice it's drawing. So that was my that was my idea when I put together this free tax server on a Raspberry Pi and why I went with it and continue to work and develop this kind of system rather than, I don't know, a, a full laptop. I could have gone with a full laptop, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted something that was low power that I could power off of just any random battery pack and go with it. Uh, and this setup right here with a Raspberry Pi 4, it just seemed to fit that bill. So that's why we went with that kind of setup. And I just felt like I needed to explain why, you know, because oftentimes we we look at Raspberry Pis as as very underpowered uh, kind of machines. But you have to understand, like, uh, a Raspberry Pi will take more than, than you really think. <clears throat> this setup right here, that little Raspberry Pi, that Raspberry Pi will take, it'll take about 100 users. Like you can have a hundred clients connected simultaneously. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of lag. Got it. But think about a hundred users in a package that compact. All right, that I can just plug in. I can. I don't know. I can plug it in here. I can leave it just laying around somewhere. Uh, I can plug it in my truck, and I can have it. I can have it running off of my truck. And I. I bet you that sucker is not going to die while running in my truck because it's not going to pull enough juice to kill my battery uh, that quick. Yes, of course, it's going to kill my battery, but that's besides the point. The point is that I can throw this setup on my truck, hook it up to hook it up to 12 volts, down step to 5 volts, and now I have a setup just running off of battery power on my truck, and I can just leave it there and go around and do whatever I got to do. Uh, <clears throat> and that concept for, you know, organizations like SAR teams, right? SAR teams have a SAR team that's, I don't know, going out somewhere to do some search and rescue type of mission. Hey, just leave it in your sort of mobile command truck. Just turn it on, forget about it, and that's it. That's it's it's running, and it's going to keep people connected. It's going to keep your it's going to keep your headquarters back a couple. I don't know, a couple tens of maybe hundreds of miles away. It's going to keep them connected to your guys out on the field. So that was my main purpose for this setup. With that being said. I'm gonna stop this video now and we'll we'll go and I don't know, do other stuff and whatnot.